Hey BNC kids, it's Pastor Destiny and I'm at home probably just like you right now in my jammies and I hope you are too. Today we are going to make some really awesome soda slime. So before we begin, I'm going to lead you through what you need to make sure you can make some awesome soda slime. Okay guys, we're going to start out here with two cups of hot water, one small bowl for our goop, two bottles of clear glue, some food coloring, pick the color of your choice, some baking soda, which hopefully mom and dad have in the pantry at home, a measuring cup with at least two cups, and a spoon to store and a tablespoon for measuring. You'll want to make sure you're wearing something that can get dirty. so. Wear a smock or a big t-shirt that you can get dirty. If you're wearing long sleeves, be sure to pull them up past your elbows and wash your hands before you start. Step one. First, I'm gonna grab my two clear Elmer's glue bottles and then I'm gonna take one of them Take the cap off and pour it in the bowl. The whole thing. You want to make sure that the entire bottle gets squeezed out into the bowl so that you have plenty of glue to work with. Then you'll want to grab the second Elmer's glue bottle and make sure that you put just a little bit more into the bowl. That way we have enough to mix with our baking soda. Next, we'll want to grab a spoon and have it handy so we can mix our pretty colors into our glue. Let's pick a color. Hmm, I think I want blue. We're going to do four little drops into our glue. Ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we stir. You can put less color if you want it to be a lighter color, and you can put more drops if you want it to be a darker color. Be sure to stir well and make sure that the glue looks like an all even color. Next, we're going to take one tablespoon of baking soda and put it into our measuring glass. We're going to do that four more times so that we have a total of five tablespoons of baking soda. Once your baking soda is ready to go, we're going to pour two cups of hot water into our measuring glass. Don't worry about the bubbles. They're gonna be pretty fun to look at and they're not gonna do any harm to your baking soda. Make sure you stir the water and the baking soda together really well. That way it creates a really cool solution that's gonna help us make our slime awesome. Now that we've stirred our water really well, we're gonna take a break for 10 minutes. So grab a phone and set a timer. Alright guys, 
Once that 10 minutes is up, go ahead and stir that solution one more time to make sure the baking soda has fully dissolved into the water and so that you can't see any small grains left. It's okay if the water is still warm. We want it to be that way. If you think it's still too hot and needs to cool down for 10 more minutes, go ahead and let it do that. The goal is to keep it warm enough that the baking soda stays fully dissolved in the solution. For the last step, we're going to pour that warm water into the small bowl where our glue is. We'll pour about half of our cup of water. Then, we're gonna take our mixing spoon and work the glue and the baking soda solution together by stirring and folding the goop toward the center of the bowl, bunching it all together to create a big slime ball. Add more water as needed. The more water, the more baking soda there is to bond with the glue. Once you think your slime ball is ready, remove it from the small bowl and place it on a flat, protected surface. You'll know your slime is ready when there's no extra floaties left in the water and your ball of slime is strong and doesn't stick to your fingers. The slime will be wet, so be sure to have a towel nearby to dry your hands. Now it's time to play with our slime. Have fun and remember, be safe. Don't eat the slime, don't put it on your brother or your sister, and make sure you do everything that your parents ask you to. Hope you had fun, guys. Well, you guys, I hope you had a bunch of fun making your awesome slime, and I hope it turned out exactly the way you wanted it to, and it was really fun to play with. Tune in next week, because we're gonna have another activity for you guys. But this time, it's gonna be a special guest reading us a really fun story, so you don't wanna miss it. Next Thursday at 3 p.m., all right? We'll see you there, bye.